Hi everyone, welcome to this video. After knowing about how to assemble the flight controller, in this episode we will learn how to assemble the receiver and how to assemble the electronic speed controller to the flight controller and to the motor respectively. And you can see that these are the components and the parts we are going to use. Now let's get started. Insert the rubber dumping tubes into the hills of the upper board. And then insert them into the video taping vibration dumper plate. Install the upper board and the video taping vibration dumper plate onto the frame. Insert the M2.0 screws into the holes and fasten them with the Allen wrench. Insert the connector of the connecting line of the receiver into the recess of the flight controller. The connector is in the design of preventing anti-plug. There are six sockets connectors at the other end of the connecting line. Insert the six sockets connectors into the channel pins from channel 1 pin to channel 6 pin in accordance with the sequence of the connectors. For the leftmost channel, Pay attention to connect the black well to the cathode of the channel 1 pin, the red one to the anode of the channel 1 pin, and the white one to the signal interface. Connect other wells to channel 2, channel 3, channel 4, channel 5, and channel 6, respectively. and then connect the three-phase power lines of the motor to those of the electronic speed controller. Here there is no requirement about connecting sequence.
Connect the signal control valve of the number one motor to the number one one interface of the flight controller. Pay attention to connect the brown valve to the cathode, the red one to the anode, and the yellow one to the signal interface. Connect the well of the number 2 motor to the number 2 interface. The well of the number 3 motor to the number 3 one interface. And the death of the number 4 motor to the number 4 3 interface. This is the assembly in this episode. See you in the next episode.